Revolution Land, who will be watching this later. I, I'm here with Maya Bro, Pierre Jacques, the great and handsome leader of one of my favorite watch brands. David. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, you know, look my face. I become red after so uh, after this compliment. So, <laughs> But first thing, how is everything in Switzerland? How are you? You know, like everyone, huh? we uh, a bit, uh, a bit, a bit. Uh, what can I say? You know, a great sandwich de merde, and il faut tout manger notre portion. Tout à fait, exactement. Yeah. Uh, a feeling like a lion uh, in cage. Ah, yes, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because I spoke to Max about this, and and he said, you know, it was the first time. You know, in, in any crisis before, usually like if it's a financial crisis or whatever, the solution is that we go out and we do more and we like make more activity and we meet more clients and we talk mm -hmm. more about the watches. And for the first time, the only solution to the crisis is to stay at home, you know? Yes. <laughs> and it can drive you a bit crazy. So I think that what's very um, nice is that we, we make this initiative to let's talk and then the people can watch these and then hopefully they'll feel better. And also they'll learn about watches because yeah. everyone is stuck in their house for the next at least two months, right? So at least Absolutely. to give- So it's not time to complain, it's time to enjoy. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So okay. um, so let's start with uh, the 10th anniversary of the DB28. First of all, uh, congratulations. What a, an amazing anniversary. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, it's an amazing anniversary for us. So the, the first um, launch of the DB28 was actually in 2010, in April. So uh, it's exactly uh, at that time that we, we was presenting the DB28. I don't know if you, you remember. We were in the, uh, in the Four Seasons, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and I remember you, you were explaining to me that there were a lot of references when you took over the brand from uh, David Zanetta. Um, and, I mean, okay, let's first say that Danny Flagellet is a genius and we love what he does in terms of, of, of watchmaking. But mm -hmm. um, there were so many different references. At, at some point you were like, I want to create one watch that has all of the key references. And in some ways, it, this becomes like the symbol of the ability of De Bethune, you know? Mm -hmm. De Bethune is really, it's a uh, tradition and innovation. It's really right. the... Uh, in this watch, you can you can see all the, the spirit of classical watchmaking, but this was this watch DB28 is so modern uh, in terms of technique, mechanic, and also in terms of design. So it's a completely dis disruption. It's completely dis disruptive uh, watch. Yeah. And um, if you look back ten years ago um, to to see a watch like that, it was like a, a UFO. Uh, in the watch uh, watch world, and is still in one sense something completely unique uh, and avant-garde. It's still very avant-garde. I completely agree. You know what I love about it is, as you say, it is the synthesis of everything that is De Bethune. So you have basically the movement facing the front. You've got this beautiful sort of alpha-shaped bridge, which contains the two barrels. You've got the triple parachute, so there's a shock absorption system on the staff of the balance wheel on, on each side of the bridge as well. You've got this amazing, you know, I, you guys make more uh, balance wheels than women have dresses. You know, it's like, I don't know how many house balance wheels yeah. you have. Every, every Tuesday, I think it's like balance wheel Tuesday for you. You're like, ah, we make a new one. Yeah. But uh, this one is a really cool one because it was a, a disc of silicon with a, um, a rim. I believe the rim might be in platinum, if I'm not mistaken, or if not in white gold but it was a really cool one. And then of course you have your three-dimensional uh, moon phase indicator, which has become kind of a signature for De Bethune as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, also in uh, the grade five titanium, which can be fully polished. And of course with the mobile lugs as well, which may, mm -hmm. you know, even though it's a fairly large watch at, is it 43 mm? It's still relatively, I mean, actually for me, very easy to wear, right? Yes, it is a, yeah, a huge watch, but uh, with this uh, lug system, it's really make that um, even a 43 mm uh, watch uh, can perfectly, um, you know, um, be uh, be wear on your your wrist and uh, yeah, just contour the wrist so beautifully. If I'm not mistaken, um, uh, you, Pierre Jacques, you used to have short lugs and then longer lugs for the mobile lugs. Now you just yes. do medium, is that correct? Yes. Since uh, I would say uh, one year, uh, we we just provide the. Uh, the, the watch with a one size of lugs, it's medium lugs, you know, to make everyone happy. <laughs> yeah, because no one, 
Well, so maybe you feel a little bit sad if you were like, no, no, but you need the short lines. You're, you're a little man. <laughs> but, um, today, uh, for the 10 years anniversary of the DB28, uh, it's not just a, a celebration. It's that we, we, we come now uh, in this, uh, uh, on the 23rd, 23rd April uh, with a completely new DB28. It's the XP, right? is the XP, so. Now, what is cool about this watch is that apparently you guys have undertaken or given yourself the challenge, or I believe in French it's called the, the defi, to make the movement considerably slimmer. Am I correct? Yes, you're right. So DB20 XP, mean in French, XP extra plat. So wow. the idea, it was really to, to reduce uh, as much we can uh, the you know the, the thickness of the DB28. So if I, I want to to show you, look at the this profile. And Looking at, I'm good at estimating thickness. Is that 7.1 mm in thickness? Yeah, more or less, yes. Uh, is that you you very well uh, uh, informed? So <laughs> so uh, and um, so also if you look the shape. Of the, the case is also very very uh, different as uh, you know you can see the, the detail of the crown is a integrated crown with uh, all the, the details and uh, and the design of the shape was completely uh, changed it's really an amazing watch if you want to compare you know the between the the two the two db28 you really look that uh, you have a, a quite a big difference in terms of uh, sequence. Yeah, actually, you're right. Even in terms of, it seems like every dimension, not just the case, but even it, because the case also becomes the slender, more slender. The lugs are um, a little bit more set in and integrated. Even the sapphire seems to sit a little bit uh, lower as well. Yes, yes. Here, the sapphire, you can see that it's like a, a dome. It is really much more flat. It's a flat surface. Beautiful. So we had also to, to gain. Um, uh, in thickness to to change the the case back. No, it's not in sapphire on that one because, as you know, sapphire it's uh, uh, you need a certain uh, dimension and uh, to to gain also in um, um, in size. We had to uh, to make a high polished titanium case back. Uh, DBXP comes in two two versions. It comes in a uh, starry sky version and it comes in a traditional sort of open open work version. Am I correct? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this is the, the sort of architecture that we're kind of very much used to as the signature of Divitune. So, mm -hmm. but you know what you don't see immediately from this, which you showed us as well, was how, how interesting the contours of the of the case is. It's, it's shaped quite differently actually. Um, ah yeah, that's a very beautiful example. And you see this sort of angle that goes towards the crown, which probably gives it also very good access to the crown as well. That's absolutely beautiful. Um, wonderful, I mean, but you still have all the wonderful signatures. You've got the alpha shaped uh, base plate. You've got the two barrels that are visible. You've got this amazing triple parachute system. So again, the jewel in the center is the parachute for the, uh, at the um, staff of the balance. But then you've got two jewels on either side um, of the balance bridge, we were retained by these sort of parachute type arms. But Pierre Jacques, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like you have done yet again another balance wheel for this this watch. Is that correct? Yes, uh, on, on that one is the latest version of um, the Betin balance wheel. You can see uh, it's a titanium wheel with gold weights. But just the shape of the this balance wheel is, is as always the Betin try to to find is the best coefficient of fear of penetration. It's why we, we did this new shape of balance wheel. It's really uh, aerodynamic. Then. So it's got great um, uh, inertia, but it's also got great sort of uh, resistance to aerodynamic turbulence. Air friction. Point. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, uh, and then what we're looking at is it's a free, is it a free sprung balance? Well, no, it, there's, a, there's a regulator in the, in the center, if I can see it correctly. Right? Excuse me, I did, did not hear you. When we do the regulation of the balancier, there's a little vis là, oui? Oui. But that, yeah, and then it's also using the famous Debethune uh, patented terminal curve, correct? Yes, yeah, you can clearly see uh, the, the Debethune uh, flat terminal curve uh, on um, this illustration. Uh, so this is also um, uh, one of the main uh, innovations that Debethune bring uh, this last year. 
um, is on the flat terminal, terminal curve. Yeah, Jack, let me ask you a question. For both of the XPs, both this sort of um, open work version in Titanium and also the Starry Sky version, um, I don't see a uh, three, three-dimensional moon phase indicator. Is that because the indicator would have been too thick? Yes, exactly. Uh, we had to, to find some uh, compromise. Keep the moon, won't be possible to, to gain uh, that uh, thickness we have with the new DB28 XP. What is the material of the dial? That dial is the titanium dial. The decoration on the dial, you can see that all the, this uh, micro sillon, all this stripe, is what we call microlite decoration for the between. It's a Guilloche microlite. And you can see also the very well-known uh, the Bethune constellation. So on that one, you can uh, also personalize and make your own sky on request. And, uh, romantic. Very romantic. Uh, <laughs> it was any date, uh, any romantic date. Uh, We're going to need a lot of romance when this is all over. <laughs> <laughs> the vibration of the, the dial give really a, a sentiment that the, the dial is satinated. It's not like a, a high polish titanium blue that we obtain by oxidation, but here as a, it's microlite, you really have the sensation that the dial is satinated and uh, really a completely different uh, light from the, the previous uh, blue de Bethune dial. What I think is a beautiful um, touch here underneath the balance wheel, there's this high polished surface. And in some ways that is like, uh, how shall I put it, creates even a be beautiful reflection of the balance that's on top of it, you know? And it creates mm -hmm. a sort of wonderful um, focus on the balance wheel as being the, the living heart of the watch. No, uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful. Yes, I say that the focus uh, with that dial is mainly uh, the balance wheel. Uh, Pierre-Jacques, how many of these will you make? For this year, limited to 20 pieces of that version and 20 pieces of the high polish version. So I also noticed that there's a new decoration on the case as well. Um, if you go to the band, the band of the case, there's this sort of like a, a horizontal. Right. Also, what we call microlite decoration is the same um, kind of uh, yoshe they describe that we call microlite, and uh, we did this on the case. It's also a, a way to to make the the case exaggerate the the thickness of the watch. When you have a horizontal stripe, give you also a visual lens that the, the watch is even a thicker. Very nice. And I, I noticed that even on the uh, on the open work version, uh, there is that signature micro light um, guilloche that's um, on part of the architecture. So it's really beautiful how like it kind of radiates outward from the aperture of uh, where the, the balance wheel is. Uh, it's fantastic. See on the, the, the detail of the dial of that watch is that we really take opposite that watchmaker usually doing in uh, decoration is that the angle uh, satinated and the surface are high polish. And usually, you know, watchmaker, they, they satinated the, the, the flat surface and, and they polish the angle. So it's also a different way, decoration, I would say. Now, I believe we have uh, also two new versions of the kind of blue, is that correct? Yes, we have two new versions of the kind of blue. So we have the, the new kind of blue tourbillon with a new dial and also new lugs. The, this new kind of blue came with the, the medium lugs, as I was telling you before. And on the dial, we have the Milky Way that's going to the, the dial. What constellation was on the first one? On the first one, on, on the first one, it was your constellation, if I'm not. I just, okay, sure, fine, very no, good. No, no, I don't know. On the, on the first one, uh, the first kind of blue, no, the, the constellation is the, the, the sky of the Bethune, the, the day of the creation of the Bethune. But as I remember when I say yours, because you, uh, the, the first kind of blue uh, was made by the Bethune, uh, was made for you, if you remember. Oh, the very first one. Yes. Oh, that's incredible. That's such an honor. Well, I'm still wearing, I've still got it, you know? <laughs> yeah. So. An amazing watch. Um, wow, it's amazing. So you've got, okay, so you've got the kind of blue. There's two versions. Obviously, there's a tourbillon version and there's the version with the moon face. Um, both have a, a, the dial featuring the Milky Way. Mm. Um, and what is the balance wheel that's being used? Is, is it the new balance wheel, the titanium balance wheel? It is also the, the new balance wheel. So basically, uh, on every... And every uh, DB28 now came with the, the new balance wheel. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then it's got the medium lugs. Yes. Absolutely. Medium. 
And if you can see, look the details of the on the lugs, you can see that the bullets are a little bit more bigger than the previous one. We just exaggerate a little bit this unique De Béthune signature, you know, the bullet lugs. I love that. And how many pieces will these be made, made in? It will be uh, 10 pieces. The other one, the tourbillon, it will be five pieces. Okay. What is this hand over here? Yes. Um, these this, uh, little hands that you can see uh, between uh, two and three o'clock is a performance indicator. I would say it's not the, really the pro result because the pro result, that watch is on the back of the watch, but there on the, on the dial is the performance indicator. You see, if you look, just above and behind the, the two small rubies, you have one ruby is at two o'clock and one at three o'clock, and the hands is just in between. And when you, you are just in the zone between the two o'clock and three o'clock, is when uh, you have the, the watch, the, the maximum of accuracy. It's the comfort zone of the watch. If uh, it's going below, maybe you have to rewind because uh, it will probably not be as accurate as it has. And uh, if your watch is really too much winded, it's also uh, not the, the best for the, the movement. So just when you are between uh, 2 and 3 o'clock, really where you have the, the best accuracy of the, the watch. Okay, so anyway, these, these are amazing. And then I believe there's also two starry variuses. Am I correct? Yes, you're correct. So many novelty. Uh, we are here for the <laughs> for the XP, but you know we have a kind of blue tourbillon, kind of blue with a regular balance wheel, and also <laughs> it will all be fine. People. Don't worry. And also we have two um, new version of the DB25 Starry Values. Okay. So this is the new version of Starry Values in rose gold in a rose gold case. So basically, I would say that it's the same watch than the previous one, but uh, with a new, uh, new material. So it's uh, the new DB25 style values, rose gold. I, I, you know, I've never asked you, what is the material that's being used for the, um, the, the, where the numbers are? The, check, the ring or the, the index? Uh, uh, so it's um, silver. Silver, okay. And what is the constellation? Or I guess uh, the point is that you can have any constellation you want. Uh, yes, the same uh, same than uh, the previous one. You you can uh, use uh, choose any date of your of your choice to the sky, and uh, that one is the sky of the factory again in two thousand two. Saint Croix. Saint Croix. No, above Saint Croix. I saw the drunkest man. Uh, not really Saint Croix. Above uh, La Chaux. I saw the drunkest man I've ever seen in my life in in Saint Croix. It, it was yes, who, who it was? It wasn't me. <laughs> But usually it is. It, it, it was this guy. He was just like walking across the street, holding a bicycle, like rolling his bicycle. And then at some moment, he just fell over. Right? So, yeah. I was in the way up. He's all, um, you know, people survive in Saint Croix. You know, uh, in the in the winter. You know, as the, you know, if you don't drink, it's quite difficult to survive over there. Very cold. So then I, I walked over. And I was like, oh my God, am I going to have to give him like, you know, CPR or something like that? So then I leaned over and he just <laughs> burped. And he just <laughs> so strongly of like, <laughs> <laughs> or absent, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, be sure that in San Juan they, they are not uh, all, uh, all like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was a different one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so the story varies. You said it comes in two versions. What are the two versions? Yeah. The, the other version. As you say, is the jewelry version. So it's really a rose gold case, uh, setting with a diamond. You can see yeah. on the bezel, on the side of the case, like and also the the lips. It's a bit like the kind of blue you did for the Shanghai watch gang with all the blue 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 sapphires. Mm -hmm. Yes, I That's a cool watch. Yeah, it's super super cool watch. That's magnificent. How much mm -hmm. is the watch? This is uh, Piaget. Pardon? Ça coûte combien, ce, ce, ce montre? Ah, ça, ça coûte combien? You, you asked me a strange question. Uh, the, the, in rose gold, it's 65K yes. without tax. And that one is 85K. They're, they're a bargain. I can tell you. They're a bargain. Uh, Come on. It's a bargain. It's different. It's different for, for who? But uh, no, it's a, it's a reasonable price for... For what we, we propose. 
I think that's the thing that I've always loved about Debbie Thune as well, is that the uh, whole um, dedication to creating something really wa- horological, you know? I mean, they're, mm-hmm. they're not watches that are made as an exercise to have interesting things. They're made from someone or a, a group of people who are extremely pure in their spirit related to their love for watchmaking. You know, you guys were making um, in-house balance wheels and hair springs way before anyone else. You've made so many different calibers. You're such mm-hmm. a perfectionist that you, you launched a chronograph and it took you 10 years to actually release the chronograph, which is one of my favorite chronographs of all time, the, the Maxi Chrono as well, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and, I, and I love that. I, I think uh, Debithune is, is such an amazing brand. Tell us, I mean, what's your hope for the future for, for Debithune? Our hope is just to, you know, to stay where we are, as to stay, uh, you know, uh, uh, exclusive brand, uh, doing our best to, to make the, the nicest and the best watch we can. And, um, you know, just the, the steam we have, we are 32 people uh, today at the Bethune, working, uh, I will say, without pressure of quantity. The only pressure the watchmaker have is the quality, to reach the quality that Denis uh, want to, to maintain at the Bethune. And uh, this we cannot uh, maintain um, uh, increasingly, uh, uh, increasing our production. Uh, uh, so we want to, to stay who we are, uh, a small and very familial uh, company. Amazing. I didn't, you know, it's, it's cool. I didn't realize Denny is making, he's a knife maker also. Yes, he's a knife maker. He, he's making a, ah, you, you get one. I remember one Basel Fair, Denny came up to me and he said, hey, I want to give you something. And he gave me this knife, which is a, really cool. And I didn't realize that he's, he's making knives himself. And he actually yeah. forges the blades, these sort of like Damascus blades himself. I mean, he's quite incredible, this guy. Yeah, yes, he, he's forging uh, the, the blade uh, himself. You know, he, he makes his own uh, alloy and forging the, the metal for, for the blade. Uh, even for the wood, you know, for, for his uh, very good friend, um, he has them to, to bring a piece of wood that have, uh, you know, um, a sense for them. For example, a piece of, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, of your old bed, of your old, uh, anyway, you will have, you know, of a, um, a piece of tree in your garden that you, you know, uh, you want to that have, tell a story to you, and you will make uh, your, your own knife. And, uh, Yes, it's uh, He's an amazing no to Denise' creativity. No, but you guys are such wonderful people. So thank you so much, Pierre Jacques, for spending time with us. Uh, we really love it. DBXP now at 7.1 mm. Uh, oh, I forgot. There's also going to be a tourbillon version of the XP, but you don't have images for that yet. Yes, I don't have it today. Maybe I can update you uh, end of this week. We can, uh, I will uh, update you because I'm waiting to watch. Uh, Please. But that so. watch mistaken is 8.1 mm um, in thickness as well which is extremely thin for uh, a tourbillon which is incredible yes. uh, two versions of the kind of blue both with the milky way now with the new every all the watches with the new balance wheel and titanium uh, in-house balance wheel and then uh, two versions of the starry varius in pink gold uh, one without diamonds and one with correct all right okay all but right, you will bro. see the, the tourbillon you, you you will not see the, the difference in terms of thickness visually it's quite the same so, thank you, sir. Well, thank you very much. Speak to you soon. Awesome Ciao. pleasure, man. Take care. Bye. Bye bye.